when the shit hits the fan, when it goes down, when it all goes up, when the balloon goes up. All little sayings for the entrance of uh, anarchy upon our land. Not cool, man. Ain't none of it cool. Let me give you some um, real quick and what I see, and I'm really interested in what you have to say. And if I'm missing something, man, feel free to let 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 us know. That's me and Big Sarge. Because maybe we are missing something. Maybe we're wrong here. Um, number one. Just because something makes sense doesn't mean that it's correct. Uh, Sarge and I, for a living, uh, one of our second jobs and, and a couple of our, uh, our primary tasks at one time was merely to make sense of things. You, you could give us a couple of seemingly unrelated items and part of our experience and training, we'll, we'll tie them together for you. We'll put them in a nice little package, put a little bow on top and say, hey, here you go. Anybody that uh, reloads ammunition should very much understand that just because something makes sense doesn't necessarily make it so. Uh, as far as uh, gas checks, certain types of gas checks, uh, case necking, case crimping, you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if not, go to somebody's channel that reloads and ask them. <laughs> Because uh, I'm not, I'm not actively reloading right now. But uh, that's that's uh, that's neither here nor there. But just because something makes sense doesn't doesn't mean it's correct. If if I tell you, okay, if for some reason the police department decides not to go to work one particular day, either because they're too busy or whatever. Um, and I say, and there's evil in this world, and that evil will merely run rampant, and there is just a thin blue line between you and destruction. So yeah, that, that really makes sense, because there's so many people that if, if there's not somebody near them with a gun on their hip to shoot them when they when they commit an error, then, then it'll all fall. It makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense that, that evil will go ahead and try its hand if there's not something obvious. <clears throat> It does make sense, but is it necessarily true? If the uh, Colonel Grossman's work that that our uh, survivalist community likes to throw around so much points it out that while there is evil in this world, and this is actually in his uh, sheepdog paper, while there is evil in this world, if you look at the percentage of evil versus the good, it is a very low percentage. And um, if you're talking about one percent of an entire population that leaves 99% not committing douchebaggery. And of that 99% not committing douchebaggery, you've probably got, oh shit, 20% alphas. So if you, if you want to talk about what, what evil would commit, I don't, I don't know. While it, while it makes sense, and this is something I'd really like to discuss, while, while it does make sense, I don't see a wholesale, nationwide world being turned upside down, like what you see in Bangkok, where they, where the military had to establish kill zones or things like that. I think human beings are different, and I also think that if you want to talk about shit hitting the fan, dude, the shit hit the fan in 1776, and we have been a nation of free men ever since. There are some of those who choose to imprison themselves in concepts of a lack of freedom or somebody attempting to steal their freedom, but you know what? Take a deep breath right now with me, go. <sighs> you are a free man. Enjoy it. Cherish it. People fight hard for it. Thanks for listening.